<sighs> Good morning. Mike Scott here, the movie critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans and NOLA.com. Welcome back to the Movie Cave for today's popcorn breakfast. Today is Thursday, September 25th, 2014, and we'll start today with Chef. John Favreau's indie sleeper hit uh, from this past summer, shot partly in New Orleans, of course, as well as in Los Angeles and Miami, and it's due in, uh, it's due to land on DVD and Blu-ray on September 30th, and so this week, Open Road Films, the film distributing it, uh, held sort of a DVD release party in Hollywood. John Favreau was there, as was celebrity chef Roy Choi, who was a cooking consultant on the film, and uh, Favreau's co-star, MJ Anthony, played his son in the film. They were all there, they cooked up some Cuban sandwiches, some Cubanos, shared it with the crowd there, and as I said, this was ostensibly a DVD release party, but as the Hollywood Reporter notes, it also kind of doubled as an award season party as Open Road tries to keep the film in the forefront of award season voters' minds. Uh, Open Road CEO Tom Ortenberg uh, told the Hollywood Reporter that you can expect to see uh, pushes for Oscars and Golden Globes for Chef, in uh, or nominations anyway, in a number of categories, including Best Picture, Best Director. Uh, but the consensus is that probably its best chance is in the Best Screenplay category. So watch as award season sort of descends upon us. Watch for uh, Chef to make some noise in the Screenplay categories. Again, the DVD uh, and Blu-ray of Chef are due in, in stores on September 30th. That's this coming Tuesday. Moving on a little bit to Fast and Furious 7. That one's not due in theaters until April 3rd, 2015. But actor Vin Diesel took to Facebook recently to share some of the, the first look photos from the film, including some first look photos of Paul Walker in the film. Of course, Paul Walker was the actor who, who died tragically in that car crash north of Los Angeles last uh, November, right in the middle of production, forcing, uh, forcing producers to sort of do some reshoots and rewrites to get the thing done. Uh, uh, Diesel, who actually sent out two photos, one of himself and Walker on set, and then one of Diesel alone, uh, just described it as sort of a bittersweet thing as the, the film nears release. Of course, he's he's happy to see the film near completion and, and, and headed for release. He's also, of course, still mourning the loss of his friend. Again, Fast and Furious 7 lands in theaters on April 3rd. And then finally today, we'll move on to the NFL, which is probably more ready than anybody to change the subject from its current domestic violence crisis. Hollywood looks ready to change that subject, looks willing anyway to change the subject, although the NFL might not like the subject that it's being changed to. As Variety pointed out in a story posted this week, a number of projects are in the works on the NFL's concussion crisis, specifically focusing on the long-term effects of repeated concussions uh, suffered by players. The biggest project uh, is probably Sony's Game Drain. That's, uh, that focuses on the recent Research behind the issue and it stars Will Smith but also there's a number of other ones Parks, the independent shingle Parks McDonald Productions it's going to do a, it's, it's, it's working on a project called League of Denial former NFL wide receiver Matthew Cherry is working on one called Game Time Decision he's trying to put financing together for that one and then Peter Berg the director behind such films as Battleship and Lone Survivor also Friday Night Lights He's, putting, he's, he's working on a, uh, a documentary miniseries for HBO called State of Play, and one of those uh, installments is reportedly going to focus on the concussion issue. So this really isn't an issue that's going to go away anytime soon for the NFL. Uh, as for me, I do have to go away sometime soon, as I've run out of time for today. So enjoy the rest of your Thursday.